Hi, I'm John Collins, the paper airplane guy. World record holder for paper airplane distance. Watch my show all about making paper airplanes on Blueprint. And right now, I want to run you through some fundamentals. The first thing, make very sharp creases. That'll help your plane fly much better. And make accurate folds. Line up those edges so they're just perfect. And then overall symmetry. Make one side of the plane match the other side of the plane. And I also want to run you through a couple of basic folding techniques. The first one is how to fold a piece of paper in half. What you want to do is turn the quarters up so that the corners are just touching, hold that down, and then with your thumbs reach down to the center and sweep to the outside. By sweeping from the middle out, you minimize the error on both sides. You magnify the error if you just sweep, sweep one direction. It could come out looking like that or like that. By sweeping from the center out, you get much more accurate folding. The same sort of holds true for a diagonal fold. If we take a piece of paper and move the top toward the side, really nail that corner, and then pivot the edge over so it lines up with the side and sweep from the top to the bottom. And as long as we've got one diagonal fold made, I wanna show you how to make one of the most important bases in making paper airplanes. It's called a water bomb base. Unfold that diagonal, make a diagonal the other direction, unfold that, now you've got a big X in the page, let's flip it over, now we're gonna fold that X in half. This is a great base because very few things come together quick in origami, and this one comes together really quickly. Stand the paper up, press down in the center till it just pops, and then bring the top down, allowing the sides to come in. Now you've got this really great base. You've already got the beginning of a delta-shaped wing, a single layer in back, lots of layers in the front. And then, if you want to finish that up by making a heavy part to the front, you can bring those corners to the top, fold to the center one more time with these outside edges, fold the top down. And this is just a for instance. This is just one way to use this base to create a heavy front end on your plane. And then, once you've got that locked together, you've got a nice solid front end, lots of weight in the front. You can do anything you want. You could fold this down the center and then make wings. You could kind of round out the front and make a curved uh, thing. Right now, I'm just going to do a standard plane that I loved to make when I was small. Just a stair step wing here. And now, you've got this plane called a sled, and you're ready to test fly. And this is the beginning of your paper airplane inventing.